Hi and welcome to Gizmos and Gadgets. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install our wall splashes, also our shields and our customised names for the wall. So we're going to go through a few different steps of what we get and how to apply it. So this is what you'll be receiving in the post. It's going to turn up in one of your protective tubes, um, taped together. And because potentially from the UK to the States or other places in the world, it might be inside a tube for a bit of time. Once you undo the tags that are keeping it together, and because it has a foam protective laminate coating, it may keep a bit of its curl. And if we apply this to the wall as it is, the edges are going to want to bring itself back in. So the first thing we're going to do is let this sit on the floor just overnight, um, 24 hours with a little bit of weight on it. And the laminate that's inside here is going to kind of go back to normal. So on the floor here, we have one that has been sat for some time, just with a little bit of weight. And when we pick that up in a moment, you'll all see that. The other thing I also want to talk about is the surface of the walls. Now it may not look it, but walls will build up dust in this white little wall. We rubbed it down, it was covered in dust. Make sure you do that, otherwise the sticker is going to stick to the dust. The dust isn't going to stick to your wall and it is going to come off potentially your child's head. You know, so don't, don't do that. The other thing with walls is we want a smooth surface. So you can probably see here, this isn't a perfect wall uh, to put it on. If I run my hand across it, I can feel it's quite bobbly. If you have a wood chip type wall, which is a, a more severe version of this, do not install it on there. It only gives the sticker about a 30 to 50% surface area um, coverage because of all of the, the various sort of dimples. So that's just a little proviso. Now what we're gonna do is start to apply the wall smash. Okay, so now we are gonna apply the wall smash onto uh, the wall. A couple of other things I didn't mention is with the wall, if you've freshly, freshly painted it, let it sit for at least four weeks. It might sound like a long time, but paint won't cure properly until about four weeks. And applying this onto there, it might start to peel the paint away. So if you have decorated it, just give it a bit of time, let it flatten out some more time, um, and it will apply much better. The other thing I didn't mention is if once you've let it flat, uh, lay flat for 24 hours overnight, um, if there is still any retained curl in the, the wall smash, apply a little bit of heat. Just cover it with a, a hairdryer for 10, 20 seconds, and you'll see these bits will just start to go almost like a, a flimsy bit of paper. Um, and then this is one that we've kind of let it sit for 24 hours. And if we compare that to one, you'll see sort of the difference in the steps I've taken. So now that we've done that, as we know, it's cut, pre-cut all the way around the edge. And I'm literally just gonna peel this off top to bottom. This is our large version. The versions that we sell are small, medium, large, and extra large. When it comes to the extra large one, I would advise to do this bit with two people, purely because of the size and also the added weight. Um, it is gonna be quite difficult to do. The other thing is try not to let the sticker touch itself. So if these two parts stuck together, they're both stickers and they are gonna get quite a decent adhesion to each other. Um, and when you try and pull it off, chances are it's going to skew it out. Um, we want to get it on one side in a position that we're happy with and we get one side as smooth as possible and really this first bit is going to be paramount to getting a successful fit because the rest of it is based around how well this sticks. Hold it down nicely. Um, you can use specialist tools if needs be, but I am quite happy doing it with my hand. What I want to do is kind of always have a very small curl as we apply it. So rather than apply it one bit at a time, it's just going to slowly bend its way onto there. And the paper would almost kind of do the job itself if it's bent. And we're kind of more rolling it onto there. Once we pass halfway, it just goes on really simply. And then just push down nice and firmly all around the outside. So it's exactly the same process whether you've got one of our wall smashes, whether you've got a personalised name, whether you've got a shield. Any of our wall decals will be the same uh, theory to them, just a slightly different application depending on 
the shape of the cuts. So that's it for our Gizmos and Gadgets. Hope you enjoy your wall smash. Thank you very much.